BTS of Noel doing 75 BTS skits. BTS with my face. amazing acting so, yeah, in really Isaiah good. Skits. My skits. She's getting better and better every time. This is take number five? Five. Ten. Ten. God damn it, Noel. No, this is not me. Better what be before 12. Wrong? My I'm acting joking. is so good. It's actually raining. I feel it. Ready? Three, two, start walking. Hey guys. No pit, no. What's up, beautiful? It's been a while. What's up, beautiful? It's been a while. That's set. Everyone give it up from his Leva. We got a saw. She actually, no, for real, she actually puts up um, with a lot of me. Wait. I appreciate it. You hurt yourself? Yeah, I did. Can you, can you give it a kiss? Can you kiss it? <laughs> Oh, so much better. It's healed. It's healed now. It's healed. <laughs> but that scene, usually it takes, that was actually a quicker skit, right? That yeah. wasn't a lot of, that was really not a lot of yeah. talking stuff. Sometimes, sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it takes so, like an hour. Yeah, that's the longest, but it's not bad though. I did a skit yesterday and the guy that he does it, he usually says it takes like three hours. His skits take like three hours. But they're like two minutes long. So these mine are usually like at 30 seconds to a minute, but I will be making movies yet. Mark my words. July 26th, mark my words. I'll be in movies. She might be guest featuring in my movies. Netflix series? Yeah, let's do it. We actually saw a movie last night. Trash. She picked it. It was big trash. She picked it. Big trash. Okay, I am back at the house. I've got to intro it, so I'm gonna give you guys. I'm gonna do my little intro that all of you hate, and I keep doing it because you guys hate it. <laughs> Just kidding, love you guys. But hey, what's up, guys? It's Noel here, and I'm back with another video. So today, I'm going to be reading my beautiful hate comments. I literally just took so long screenshotting a bunch of them from like YouTube. I didn't look too hard into like DMs and Instagram comments because that takes a while, so most of them are from like YouTube. Let's start off with, this one's actually really nice. Noelle, you belong to the streets and you're only friends with Jesse and Isaiah and Bradley and everyone else for clout. That's all you want, you're fake as fuck. Wish they actually kicked you out, lol. A lot of people say stuff like this and it's actually, it kind of disgusts me because if you think about it, like, Jesse asked me to be in his videos, so I was in his videos. Like, it wasn't like I was begging him, like, to be in his videos. Like, he asked me, like, we both helped each other. We were also actually friends. Like, we didn't date or anything like that. We were actually friends. We've clarified all of that, whatever. Um, and then Isaiah is literally one of the best friends I've ever had, like, genuinely. And I just, like, enjoy making content with him. We enjoy making content together. And then Brad, I work for Brad. Like, I, a raw gear athlete, so I don't really know what you guys are, um, when people say that, I'm just like, but I have to remember, these people don't know me at all. It's funny. Your cringe video is a turn off. Sorry. Driest chick going. This one's kind of a popular one. I get this a lot. This chick is like a four out of 10. I think I got it on TikTok another time too. Wait, let me see. You're a four, calm down. And then I responded back. I was like, with that personality, you're like a one. And then I think I responded to, yeah. I responded to the one of the guys said this chick is like a 4 out of 10. I just hearted the comment and he responds back and goes, you got snap. <laughs> Looks like he's stooping to a 4. Oh, I like this one. Most annoying YouTuber. I wish she never started YouTube or joined the fitness community. Even though she has a terrible physique, she still gets all this hype. For once, I'm going to say I don't agree with that. Because usually I'm hard on myself. But for me working out only 7 months now. I think I've made some pretty good progress. I don't know. But I responded to him and I said, I hope you're okay and find happiness. Because obviously he's, he might be going through something if he had to time out of his day to comment something so negative and horrible. I, know, I just can't imagine doing that. There's a TikTok that I posted because people were accusing me of being on gear. It's funny, I always address this, but someone comes and goes, I thought you were on trend though, haven't you said that? And then this person responds back and goes, she has. Now she's trying to, not to deny. That's the only reason I said she's on gear. Crazy how people say I'm hating just for speaking the truth. Dog. I said I was on trend because I was being sarcastic. I guess people don't understand sarcasm these days. Like, I'm pretty sure if I was on trend, like I'd look like a man. Or I'd be turning into a man right now. And then another TikTok, I posted my uh, results, like my a picture when I first started working out and then like now. And all the comments were like, don't worry, I bet you'll see results soon. Or uh, the same day with different clothes. Or honestly, there's no difference other than the lighting. Yeah, just a bunch of people trying to put down my progress on that picture, acting like I've made literally people like no change. I think some, this one actually kind of made me feel bad. <laughs> Stop trying to prove you're something, you're nothing. I don't get why all these sad guys in the comments are so upset that all I did was say, all I did was make a progress video with two pictures. A lot of them got really upset by it for some reason, but 
don't know, maybe it's because they don't see progress within themselves. I don't know. Please block me so these horrible videos don't show up on my recommended for reasons I can't explain. Another basic LA waste. Okay, I'll block you, no problem. You seem like a spoiled person who has no clue as what's going on outside of the social media bubble you live in. You're a faker. Uh, it's funny because this video was me, it was mostly me just like talking, talking about the haters and talking, you know, just being real. And uh, you know how I'm nervous about like living in LA and stuff. It was, I think it was my moving to LA video. Yeah, it was kind of like, I was being genuine in the video. So that's why I, I didn't understand when people still come and stuff like this, but. Another one on that video. She's a little too full of herself. Humbled, honey, humbled. Um, that's another, like, I was being, I was literally being genuine in that video. And I always talk about how I would love to have more self-confidence. So that is kind of ironic that she thinks I'm too full of myself. Seems like jealousy to me. Another one on the same video. The video is titled, I'm moving in, house tour. Because I was moving in and it was a house tour. It was just self-explanatory, no clickbait. I was actually moving in. The reason why she put that title is because she wants clout, not gonna lie. Huh? Two in a row. Gold digger. Video suck. How disappointed is your pops and mother in you, knowing your parents would pay for college and you're instead playing bodybuilder? Haha. <laughs> well, actually, my mom and dad are actually super proud of me because I've actually accomplished so much and probably doing more than I ever would and honestly, probably making more money than I ever would if I went to college. Because my mom, the funny thing is my mom was actually the one who was trying to convince me to drop out. And I was like, no, mom, I can't drop out with like basically no reason to. But she's like, no, like, she's like, I believe like you have um, so much like potential like to do like social media and in that industry, whatever. So yeah, my mom was, the funny thing is she, she was actually the one who was trying to convince me to drop out of college. And I ended up doing that and here I am. Love you, mom. Love you, dad. Oh, and he left two more. She's going to use everyone and get what she wants. These guys are clueless. You're a spoiled brat, that's why, lol. Sure, sure. <laughs> on that prank I did on Brad. Disclaimer, it was a complete joke. Brad was in on it, I was in on it. It was literally just a joke of a video. Honestly, your surprise or gift would have annoyed most people. What exactly is there to be grateful for about a tarp in the back of a car? On top of that, you're being rude and acting like a spoiled team when confronted. You should probably be grateful that Brad didn't kick you out for that kind of behavior. I mean, I'm sorry you believed it, so I guess you were trying to, you know, be like, yo, what the f is wrong with you? But it was a joke. And then I said, are you dumb? <laughs> they said, well, I suppose if this is actually a fake video, you brought this onto yourself. Maybe you should think twice next time. What an absolute stupid waste of time video. I kept thinking it would get better or there was some explanation coming, but it was garbage. I'm with Brad on this one. Not even trying to hate, but that could have been the worst content video I've ever watched in my life. Oof. Reading those, like, actually, like, made me sweat. And it's also hot out here. There are a lot of people that have the same shit to say that I'm being passed around, I use people for clout, blah, blah, blah. Like, I can see why you, you think that way, but then again, I don't. Because most of these guys that I'm just friends with, and then a lot of them, like, we help each other, or they ask me to be in their videos, so it's like, that's where I don't understand the whole cloud chaser thing. I'm just doing my thing, having a good time. But on the other hand, I do get a lot of supportive comments and people that are like really genuine and nice and like to lift me up. I appreciate that literally more than you know. It means so much to me, all the support. Um, I try to answer all my DMs of people just like being nice and because I do appreciate it, especially when you guys use my code or whatever. I respond to every single message uh, thanking you guys because it truly does help me out. I wouldn't be where I am without all your support. So I love you guys. The haters, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I didn't really enjoy it, but I am going to do a little shoot in Beverly Hills today. So I'm really excited. I'm going to bring you guys along, give you guys a little behind the scenes. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. So.
Okay guys, so we're wrapping up the shoot. This is the fit check. I'm obsessed with this dress. I just got it and this little bandana thing. Whatever. But that is going to be an end to today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I love you guys. I appreciate all the support. Let's get to 100k subscribers. Turn on your post notifications and subscribe. Peace.